and welcome back to the show. In museums around the world, you can find famous artwork depicting, depicting well-known scenes from the Bible. Well, in Jerusalem, an artist recently completed a very daunting task. Over the course of six years, she painted the entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation. She calls it the Wall of Life. My colleague Chris Mitchell brings us her inspiring story. For all who may enter these cemetery gates, we now declare this Jerusalem Wall of Life mural ministry open. The biblical mural is called the Jerusalem Wall of Life. It spans an American football field and a third. Six years of work and goes all the way from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation. And depicts scenes like this one out of the book of Exodus when Moses parted the Red Sea. I'm probably more changed by painting this mural than anything else. It took six years for Patricia Salveson to finish what she calls her life's work. I was very relieved. It's like I felt his heart. I felt the Lord's heart of joy because he knows this is his place and he and his message can come forth. In a place where the, the good news has been quenched, very seriously quenched, here are the walls shouting out his name. It wasn't easy. Such a vast job. It was just really overwhelming many, many times. But then someone would come in and they would be so touched. And then I'd be revived again to keep going. And Salvelson completed the mural under the auspices of the Alliance Church in the Holy Land, who held a dedication service for her work. Well, I think the mural is just a beautiful representation of our faith, of uh, our hope, of the story. The mural wraps around the walls of the Alliance Church Cemetery in Jerusalem's German colony. Some may think it's strange for this art to surround a cemetery. Perhaps one of the least expected evangelistic platforms in the world, a cemetery. Uh, but we're one of the few groups of people that actually don't find cemeteries disturbing because our hope, our life, our story doesn't end with the grave. We're people who can walk without fear because we know that death's been conquered. We know that this is a stop in the story, but it's not the end of the story. The cemetery, now an official Ministry of Tourism site, enjoys a rich heritage and history. Believers by the score are buried here that have contributed to the creation and development of the state of Israel and uh, sacrificed in so many ways and lived lives sacrificially for the Lord Jesus Christ. It's great to have this place uh, dedicated and especially uh, putting this mural on the walls where they talk about the story of uh, God through all the history and especially the story of salvation for all humanity. The mural itself is just gorgeous and the colors and the vibration, the vibrantness um, of it. Um, and then just the story depictions are really, really thought provoking, especially the end with just the coming back of Jesus and the lion and the lamb getting back together and the snake and the wolf. And so, yeah, it's really awesome. Salveson calls the artistic style impressionistic realism. Her favorite scene, the resurrection because Miriam, you know, she thought Jesus was the gardener. And she said, where did you put his body? And then he spoke her name. And she had this love relationship with him. That's the kind of relationship I have with him. But I also um, love the scene with the lamb because it's not a traditional Calvary scene. It's a scene with the Passover lamb, like John the Baptist said, behold the lamb of God who takes away the, the sin of the world. She found inspiration from her own transformed life. The inspiration is a four-letter word, L-O-V-E. The Lord who did for me what I could not do for myself. He took me out of this pit, he put a song in my mouth, a paintbrush in my hand, and he said, you're going to live. Well, it's really a love story for all people from all over the world. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, German Colony, Jerusalem.